Have you ever wondered about the secrets of SEO? Prepare to have your mind open to a realm of digital wonder. Let's pretend there was the Wizard of Oz. Let's pretend there was an Oz behind the veil. And we are going to take that veil down in this video. We're going to see what the biggest dogs in this space do for SEO. What is coming down the pipeline? Because as you know, ChatGPT has changed everything. And this is just the beginning. Things are about to change in the next one to three years big time. Will blogging be relevant? In this video, we're going to explore that topic. If blogging is even a thing to pursue, and if so, how can you combat what is coming down the pipeline in form of automations and AI? So let's jump into it. They say that history doesn't repeat, but it rhymes, right? So I want to begin by saying, I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know what's going to happen in the future. So this is just my opinion. But I want to start with the elephant in the room, which is Google search generated experience. Is it a big deal? Is it going to put you out of business? Is your blog going to be irrelevant because it's taken via AI models? Keep in mind, Google has their own AI models that are probably much more powerful than OpenAI's ChatGPT. It's going to take all of the internet's information into a little box so the consumers like me and you, when you want to figure out the best chainsaw to use, well, Google's going to throw it down your throat. And guess what? All of those antidotes, all of those websites of personal experience, you know, the bloggers, the true bloggers who have actually used the product, we don't care about you. See you later, Google says. Is that what they're saying? Is that what they're saying? Tell me in the comments what you think about that. Now take a look at this clip. It's a bunch of suits talking about stocks from five days ago. If you had to choose between AI, VR, or uh, Bitcoin slash um, uh, blockchain, which would it be as a long-term investment and where would you put money? So that was the question, right? Which one is the best? What would you do? Crypto? Would you do AI? Would you do this, that, and another? Check out what this guy says. Uh, from my perspective, it's AI. AI would get, uh, if I was going to grade it, it's an A. As far as companies, I think you uh, sometimes the most obvious ones are where the best returns are. And we've seen that with NVIDIA. At this point, I think NVIDIA has gone too far. But I think companies like Google, uh, Palantir, uh, Meta, all th those three I think are great. Google is a publicly held company. So what does that mean? It means that they have to appease their stockholders. They have company-wide meetings. They have pressure from above, top-down type of stuff. So what does that mean for everyone else? Well, let's think about it. There's the AI boom, NVIDIA. People are going bonkers for NVIDIA. They do GPUs, right? They've been able to quadruple plus their speed off of AI, right? And, and the, the, the moon is the limit. We don't even know where this is going to go. So the point is, Google looks around. Ooh, Bing is doing this. Ooh, NVIDIA. Ooh, these companies are not even as big as us. We need to roll out something. SGE is that pretty little thing. Will it have adoption is what you need to be asking yourself. Will it have adoption? Is, are my parents going to use Google's search SGE? I highly doubt it. In fact, I don't want to use it. But there's a problem. There's a huge problem. And it has nothing to do with Google SGE, in my opinion. I feel like that's just noise over here. Look over here. Look over here. That type of stuff. I think the real problem, and I see it a lot because I'm in this weird, unique position because I have this YouTube channel, right? People reach out to me. Things I would never ever see before. And you would not believe the tools that are being created on top of ChatGPT's, you know, OpenAI ChatGPT. You would not believe what's being created. Things that would just blow your mind. And that's where the real threat is. And that's what I'm going to get into in the coming sections of this video. Matt Diggity recently released a cool video where these guys, they did a thing and they made a lot of money. That's always a great title, right? These guys, they did a thing, they made a lot of money with their website. Oh, very cool. But what did they do? They had internal tools. And basically, the internal tools scraped Amazon, took the Amazon listings and the different things, and were able to automate, 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 automate this whole process. Now, there's a lot I imagine not being talked about because they're not going to give us their secret sauce. Even I, I hold back things in YouTube. I hold back. If you want to know all of the things I know, I'm building out the masterclass, right? People hold back things. That's just how this world works. But these guys, these guys did a really special thing with an internal tool. And this was like a year and a half ago, I think. It was, it was recent, but I don't think it was terribly recent. So keep in mind, if it wasn't terribly recent and we have new tools now, can you just imagine what people are able to do now? 
Now, listen, I've posed you with a problem. The problem is people have tools and they're not, you, you have no access to them because guess what? They made them internally. You have no access, right? That was the whole intention of my Word Galaxy tool, right? To build it for internal use. But we decided let's test it out with the public, hundreds of people, thousands of articles later. Okay, there might be a market for this, but many, many, many people I talk to have internal tools that you will never see. You'll never see the light of day because they're using it for their advantage. I'll tell you about one and I'll teach you how to future proof your blog against these threats that are already happening and you just don't see it. So here's the deal. You got to follow the money. If you're in a space like this, there's a lot of money to be made. If a lawyer calls you, follow me. If a lawyer, a law firm calls you, says, hey, Bob, I know you have skills with SEO. We're going to pay you $30,000 a month. Get us on page one, right? That's a big deal. You have to be like, what do I do? Well, back in the day, a large cost, a large cost was writers having to write content. And as you know, that cost is no more. So if that cost is no more and you can do it well, what is the cost? The cost is this, hosting a website and buying a domain. It's about $20 a month. Now imagine this, this is one of the products someone brought to my attention. Imagine having uh, I don't know, you're a carpenter. Let's say you're a carpenter or a plumber, right? Th this has been around for a while, but it's people are able to do it better now. You're a carpenter or a plumber, and you want to say, I want to start a call center across the nation, and I want to have dummy businesses everywhere, and this works for any niche. Well, this software, this tool, you can type in keywords, you can type in the idea, the niche you want, and boom, a thousand, a thousand websites just like that. They look beautiful. I've seen the websites. They look beautiful. And the words are unique because they're using OpenAI, ChatGPT. It, it, it's better than most local business websites that I see. And they can do a thousand like that, a thousand of them. And what they do is they get calls in, they get dummy calls in, well, not dummy, excuse me. They have calls into their dummy numbers, they have dummy addresses, and then they resell those. They resell those. Just take that concept into any niche, any niche, law, law, right? Mesophilioma, doesn't matter, any niche. Everything is gonna scale so much faster. It's gonna happen so, 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 so fast. So how do you protect yourself? How do you create a moat around your niche, around your content right now? What can you do? And here's the secret. The websites that are future-proofed, in my opinion, the websites that don't have to worry as much as everyone else are the ones that do this. They have real writers. Hello? I mean, I just said that the whole cost was down because you don't have to use writers now, right? I have the Word Galaxy suite. You can create articles like that. It's so fast. Well, what I'm telling you is I have not experienced any website, not one, where you can just do 100% ChatGPT content in rank well, you have to go in at the very least and edit heavily. Ask any of the top dogs in the space and they'll tell you the same thing. But there's a secret to it. You just can't rewrite it. Someone made a comment in one of the videos. I can't find it right now, but someone made a content like long gone are the days where we can just blog whatever we want. You know, it's all about, check out the last video I did, right? It's getting into like very granular stuff about words on the screen. This is the stuff that the top dogs care about. How you structure the words on the screen. It's like, it's like everything to me. It's everything. It's what I enjoy, getting nerding out on the words on the screen. And guess what? There's also another secret. Remember Google, right? How does Google make money? How does Google make money? Google makes money through ads. The large majority of, of their revenue is through ads. And what is an ad? It's just you get higher on the search results because you paid Google money. Well, let me ask you a question. How can you game the system for organic? So you got ad, ad, organic. How you can game that and not pay them is through backlinks right? Off-page SEO, backlinks, guest blogs, stuff like this, paying for links. Google hates this stuff because it takes away from the revenue, but it still matters and it still works. And so many new bloggers don't know how to do it. And I've even had experiences where I think it's it's been detrimental to my websites too much, too soon. Go check out the Boppa website, right? I think that was one of the contributing factors. So bloggers, rightfully so, are very hesitant to walk in there. But here's the point. ChatGPT content, highly spun content alone is not going to scare me. It's not going to scare me. I can do it too. I've experiment, I experimented with it too. And it's not impressive yet. It's not impressive. For every 100 websites, I bet you there's one that can do really, really well. And it's usually on an age domain with a really good backlink profile. I have websites like that. And guess what? It's still mediocre. It still comes down to you getting into the weeds and knowing how to write an article well, how to optimize for SEO if you want to rank higher. I don't care if it's a niche website or an affiliate website. It still comes down to words 
on the screen. Now I'll leave you with this, something super interesting I saw recently within the last year. Someone reached out to me, they have a website that gets like 2 million views a month. A powerful website, a very powerful website. But if you looked at the writing that they were doing, it was like OMG, LOL, comma, explanation point, this type of stuff. I'm not kidding you, it was not perfect English. But they tapped into something. And I think this is a real big secret, how you can protect your website from this, this massive AI that's coming down. Is if you have unique content, listen to me, it's unique. You're bringing something new to the table because through n grams, right? A two, a three, a four, a five, a six gram. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Google can tell the likelihood that this is AI content. They say they don't penalize it in the name of helpful uh, content update. We'll see about it. But the point is this website getting 2 million views a month has like like how me and you would text, like if we're texting together, that's what their blogs for the large majority looked like, yet it's ranking for incredible terms. Why? Because it's new and it's actually written. ChatGPT cannot replicate that. Get into the cracks, figure out where ChatGPT cannot replicate. What data can you bring to the table that ChatGPT just can't do it, just can't do it. So if you want to do it, if you want to figure out how to rank higher and make more money online, check out the masterclass I have. We go granular, we go word by word. I build out blog posts in front of you explaining exactly why I'm doing what we're doing. And it's backed up by what Google has to say through their guidelines, right? Very cool. Now, if you're not ready for that, that's okay too. Make sure at the very least, I'll have it pinned as a comment, join the newsletter. I send out ideas, you know, what I'm going through as a blogger, as an SEO agency owner, the things that I go through on a daily basis. I send about two newsletter things out a week and sometimes it includes like a URL for a tool. Check out this tool, it's working for me, I'm doing this thing, right? So join the newsletter and check out Word Galaxy. I'll have a um, URL in the description. I hope you like this. I hope, you know, I did a lot of editing in this video. I enjoy that. I'm trying to make sure that everything that I put out, I'm proud of, I'm proud of of this video. So please like it, share it, comment, send it to a friend. And um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one.